welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question longest divisors interval on code forces round 889 so the problem states that given a positive integer n find the maximum size of interval l to r of positive integer such that for every i in the interval that is i is inclusive of l to r range n is a multiple of i so given two integers l less than equal to r the size of the interval l comma r is r minus l plus 1 that is it coincides with the number of integers belonging to the interval so what this line actually means is if you are writing l comma r so both are inclusive so we need this type of interval and what we want is the maximum size of a valid interval so for a valid interval what we need is every i in the for every i in the interval n is a multiple of i so suppose let's take the example of 40 now for 40 what interval can you have 40 is divisible by 4 40 is also divisible by 2 it is also divisible by 10 and it is also divisible by 5 and so on now if you see 40 is divisible by all these numbers many more are there like you can consider 8 now looking at these numbers we have only two continuous numbers which are 4 and 5 so our interval can be 4 comma 5 or 40 so as this is the interval what is the size of the interval we have to include 4 5 4 so the size would be 2 in this case so the answer is 2 now suppose we have only one now in case of one what can be the interval it can be only one so the interval is one comma one but remember as both are one so size will be one and not two because we have only one integer here similarly we can see for other examples so like in the case of 990990 nine, we can see that 9 is a multiple 9 is a factor 10 is a factor and 11 is a factor all the three are there so what interval can be there can be 9 to 11 and hence what is the count counting three so we have three as our answer so for this thing let's see how to approach to the code so first what you can do is simply you can take initialize a number let's say i and we initialize i by one and our answer will be initially 0 and the count of the numbers this could also be 0 initially now after this we need to iterate for i which is less than equal to power of n point 0.1 so n raised to the power point 0.1 this point 0.1 usually comes from the hit and trial method you can see and check for other powers so the intuition is that whatever number we get from n to the power 0.1 it would be 
always less than what we achieved from the actual answer let's see how it works so after considering this case now we check if n modulus i is zero which means n is divisible by i n is a multiple of i if n is a multiple of i we increment our count and then our answer would be the maximum value of answer and count so the maximum value of answer and count would give us the answer in this loop and also as you are using this condition in a while loop you need to increment i at the end when outside this loop so if this loop is starting here and ending here after this you can do i plus plus and after this also as we are counting now once we reach out of the loop we need to put our counter again to zero also as we are checking n modulus i continuously so inside the loop also you need to increment this count of i so you can iterate for other values of i as well now after all these things what you get is your answer so just return the answer which would give us the solution now let's check how it is working suppose now we have i equal to 1 1 is less than equal to 40 to the power 0.1 so 40 to the power 0.1 is 1.44 approx so yeah this is true so n modulus 1 40 modulus 1 is 0 yes it is so we increment the count the count becomes 1 and answer becomes 1 now we move to i plus 1 which is 2 so like this if you go on you will finally approach to the value where you will get answer equal to 2 so you can run this dry run this loop and check it and you will get the answer so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching